Good afternoon, everyone. This is Melissa with the Stockswitch.com, and welcome. Welcome to a review of the SPY. I thought I would do a market review today. It's a good day to do this because the market is closed today. It's a federal holiday, and so the U.S. stock market is closed. Now, the SPY has had a nice uh, movement up here now, really since the beginning of the year. The market closed very strong on the 31st, December 31st, 2013. And we really didn't have that big of a pull in here in the last two and a half weeks in the market. I actually thought we'd pull in all the way down here, and we might still. I was a little surprised here how we rallied so quickly. This was like the 15th and the 16th last week. I still think that we could come all the way in here to 181. 181, 181.15. So the market is bullish. Okay, even if we come all the way in here, we are still bullish. And I thought we'd come in here, here, but we didn't, and we carried up through. However, that being said, we really didn't break over 185. We are going to get over 185. I just don't know when we do it. We, there's, there, here are the options. A train in this tight range we've been in since the beginning of the year, really. Continue in this tight range, which is a rest period for the market, where the market is resting to do what? To continue the trend, which is higher and then eventually break over it and have a nice fat rally, or or we actually will come in here. Uh, however we do it, I think that if we come in, it's going to be in one like day. Like I think it's going to be one transitional day that we come in, and then we immediately hold, and then we rally, and then we take off over 185. Or we just base and base and base and rest here. I think it's higher odds that we base and base and base and rest here now, because if we wanted to come in, we could have come in all the way in here. And we almost did, 181.34. I don't know. We may have we may have a few more rest days in here than just get over the area. Either way, we're still higher. I know to some people the market looks extended here, but actually this is a nice climb. Climb, come in, climb, come in, rest, 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 climb. I mean this is a, this chart has a nice look to it actually. So I see bullish activity here in the market. I just don't know the exact timing of when it's going to happen because we could continue to rest for another week or maybe two before we go higher. I don't think it's going to be two weeks. I think we're going to do something in the next two weeks before the beginning of February where we either pull into 181 and then get bought or rest for another week maybe or a few days and then get over 185 and have a nice rally. We're due for a nice fat rally here. I mean, this day was green and it was solid, and this day was a gap up and it was green and it was solid, but we haven't had any fat ones. Like by fat, I mean like this kind of fatness. This is a fatty. This is fat. Or continuation follow through, meaning green, 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 like three greens in a row or a big fat green day. We haven't really had that since for like over the last month, last six weeks. So we're due. We're, we're going to have a rally soon here. I just don't know when. And we'll have to see how it all plays out here. Nice chart in the SPY. Uh, nothing but blue skies ahead here for the market. Look at this beautiful chart. Beautiful uptrend here in the market. It's very important to understand how to read trends when you're choosing to take positions in trades. I know a lot of people want to get excited thinking that they're going to make a million dollars shorting this market because it didn't get over the high and really make a new high, didn't get over 185, it's kind of looking toppy, and it's really not having a strong rally here into the beginning of the year, uh, which we did last year, actually. But the trend is up. And there's no reason to think we're not going to continue that until otherwise noted. If we would have a bearish professional gap down in the market that I would think would be significant, I would take a second look at it, rate the gap just like I rate my uh, normal company stock gaps, and determine if I think it's something that's real. So far, nothing's been real in here. Everything that's been read is just profit-taking. There's a difference between something that is profit-taking, which is read or serious selling or shorting, which none of which is happening here and hasn't been happening at all. And that's what I'm saying. Even if we come in, it'll be like one nice red bar, like in one day. Like have a big red bar in one day, which would be great for me to the short side, and then just immediately hold and come in. Something like to that effect. But I know people think this market's extended and they get excited when they see the market not being able to make new highs. Every time people see the market not being able to make new highs and make lower highs and lower lows, people get excited playing on pivots thinking that the market's going to make a turn here or a dip or something, anything. And, I, you know, whatever pull in we have will be short-lived and short and sweet. That's all that I can say. Uh, I don't see any reason to suspect anything else is going to happen here. The read in the market is bullish and uh, and nice pattern here, nice follow-through, nice continuation in the market. 
months for 2014. All from all 2013, the market was bullish. And we're falling through now into 2014, although it really the market's been in such a tight range ever since the first of the year. Uh, if you weren't playing specialty strategies like gaps like I do, you probably had a very choppy uh, start to the year with your trading. But gaps have been great. Gaps have been great this year. Uh, so it's fun to do them. And I'm really glad that I know how to do them, actually. So if you'd like to learn how to read trends, I'm doing the trends class uh, this week, actually Wednesday and Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday of this week, if you are interested in taking the trends course, it's a good time of the year to take that class because it's right in the start of the calendar year and earnings season to get yourself situated for a plan of action to make money this year trading. So this is Melissa with the stockswish.com. If you'd like more information on the trends class or want to sign up, the deadline is tomorrow, Tuesday. Uh, you can email me at Melissa at the stockswish.com. Seeing this here now. I actually might not pull in. Am I actually base? I saw that. We actually might just base out here and rest for a little a couple more days and then blow higher. I mean we still could pull in all the way here, but I'm just seeing this now, which actually we may just we may just base and then go higher. I mean, this might have been it. I'm just, I just saw that. See how we rallied up here, rallied up here, rallied up here, rallied up here, pulled in, rallied up here, pulled in, rallied up here, made this resistance level, pulled in, rallied up here, solidified the resistance level, rallied up above it, gapped up, came in, and now this is support. See, this is resistance, this is resistance, this is resistance, this is support. But it's really support. It's support here. So we actually did, let me just see, 181.34. That might have been it. Well, I guess we'll have to see. I guess we shall see. I mean, we're bullish no matter what. I'm just wondering here if we're going to base and base and then break higher come in. All right, have a wonderful day, everybody. Again, if you're interested in the trends class this week, email me. Deadline to sign up is tomorrow. My email is melissa at the stockswish.com. Thanks, everybody. Have a fantastic holiday day off. Happy Martin Luther Jr. King Day. Have a wonderful day, everybody.